Welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes. So we are back with a brilliant Avatar Frontiers of Pandora on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on hard mode. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now in a previous video, with the help of Billy Nash, we managed to escape from an RDA prison. Billy Nash unfortunately was killed in the process, but we ain't going to mourn that loss because Billy Nash is the reason that we was in prison to begin with because he gave us up to Mercer. Once we escaped from the RDA prison, we ran through a brand new area trying to avoid RDA patrols and then we were contacted by Sotlek or Prima, one of the two, and they told us that there is a brand new resistance headquarters that's been set up and I need to make my way towards it. And they also said that they've not been able to get into contact with Talon. So we got in contact with Talon on a walkie talkie. He sounded very unhappy and then he basically told us that he is the reason that Mercer showed up at Resistance Headquarters and killed us during that party, attacked us during that party, because obviously Talon still likes Mercer and he's still got a thing for the humans. So it's Talon's fault that many Nutvian humans were killed. So he's refusing to come back now and thinks everybody hates him. Rightfully so. <laughs> but we then arrived at Resistance Headquarters. We spoke to Sotlek and he told us that Nor at the moment is starting to go down a dark path and he's very worried about him. So we're going to have to get in contact with Nor at some point and have a chat with him. See what's up because it sounds like he might become a Sith Lord. But yeah, we're at Resistance Headquarters now. Let's go and talk to Rinella, see what's going to be happening in this new area. And then we're going to build ourselves a brand new legendary longbow. So let's get straight into things. Apologies for the long intro, but it was a very eventful one. <laughs> very explosive as well. You made it. Yeah. How are things here? Truthfully, not great. Basic supplies are low, and I'm anxious about us being in Kametire territory. Why? Are they dangerous? Well, Sotlek said they don't welcome strangers. And Alma once told me they're not to be trusted. Did she say why? No. I should have asked, but I didn't think about it until now. It could just be a rumor, or maybe they just don't trust humans. Maybe. Did you think any more about Talan? I did. Let's give him some time. But I don't think we should tell Nor. It feels like he's already on the edge and this could push him over. Won't lying to him make it worse? Just for now. Until we get the situation in hand. Okay. I'll check in on Nor. Sweet. Also, Sotlek, if you're in the area, mate, I need to speak to you because I think you might have a couple of exquisite modifications that I can add to my bow. So I hope you ain't gone fast, Sotlek. Right. Now, the Kamantiri, they are the new clan in this area, but they are a bit reclusive, so you don't see them very often, and they're hiding away for reasons that you will discover eventually. And there's also another thing in this area that I think they call Yava, and this stuff, when they talk about Yava, they're talking about this green toxic poison that is filling this area. So they're the two things you need to remember in this area when people mention them. That's what they're talking about. And I'm sure they're going to give uh, Catman a random name like uh, all the other characters in this game. So that'll be Catman's new name in this area. Because <laughs> nobody calls me Catman in this game for some reason. All right. Uh... Oh, here we go, boys and girls. This should take up my level quite a bit. So we've got ourselves a dusk leaf branch. We have got a, a forest seaweed bass. I should probably go and get a uh, legendary version of this, but never mind. And we have got ourselves a mere deer horn. 89 damage. 30% damage for 20 seconds after breaking line of sight from hostile enemies for 5 seconds. Move speed while aiming increased, no effect while mounted. Yeah, it's going to go up by a lot of damage, but it hasn't really got... The the uh, the added bonuses are not that good, really, but compared to what we've got, it's much better. It's going to have 89 damage overall, so... Sweet, and we're nearly level 14. And there's going to be a couple of armor things that we can find throughout this area that will replace some of the stuff that we're wearing. Yeah. There'll definitely be a couple of legendary ankle guards at some point as well. And we could probably upgrade this at some point as well. 
To be honest, I know where to get most of the things now, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Right, where's Sotlek? That's got to be Sotlek, innit? Yep, that's Sotlek. How you doing, Sotlek? Here is what I have. Oh, I thought I had a, a couple of the RDA roasters. Oh, that sucks. I wanted to get, uh, what is it? This one. 10% damage to marked enemies. Oh, well, never mind. Be safe. Well, I'm not going to be safe, am I, Salt Lick? <laughs> I'm going to be doing several things in this play for it are most likely going to get me killed. I mean, I just broke out of a prison, mate. You know for a fact I'm not going to be safe. Mercer's going to be gunning for me. This is the second time that I've uh, escaped from Mercer's clutches. Actually, it's the third time. Because <laughs> the first time, obviously, uh, would have been when I was a child. Oh, no, no. No, never mind. It's the second. No, I was thinking about something completely different then. Find Alma. That's Nor. You're right, Nor. Oh. I thought we were going to go speak to Nor. Why do we need to speak to Alma? There's probably going to be a lot of people I can speak to in this place, actually. Especially after the events that have happened. I like how there's always a container with a couple of sticks. <laughs> Every time. Come to gear up? Well, I mean, not really. <laughs> I mean, I should start equipping the uh, shotgun more often, to be honest, because I do use the shotgun more than I use the spear thrower, because the spear thrower is a bit of a nightmare to use. Yeah. We store fifteen percent health after killing an enemy on the shotgun as well. That's pretty good. You take care of yourself. I will try my best, but I can't. I can't promise that. There's a lot of injured people here as well. Look, they're having a rough day. You need a new look. No, I don't actually. I need to get myself a couple of new recipes. Just unfortunately, all of the gear that you sell and the designs is all about using guns. And I do not use guns, Raj. I do not use guns. <laughs> I did <laughs> I did for the start of the playthrough. But since then, I've not used them anymore. We've been going full nutfee. Oh, mud gem shells. Who's that? Man, everyone's having a rough time. I am so glad you're safe. But I, I need a word. Well, sure thing, Billy Eilish. Hey. Alma, is she? She's stable, I think. That's as good as it gets right now. She was in a lot of pain, so we sedated her. Will she be okay? She has to be. But I'm not that experienced with not be physiology. Hajir would know what to do. I can find him for you. Hajir is gone. Oh no. Hajir too? I'm so sorry. How did this happen? So many lives lost. Is there anything I can do? I don't know. There's a lot to take in. These inhalation burns are difficult to treat with our medicines. Everyone's in pain and I don't have the supplies to help them. What if I check on supplies? We might have something that can help. Yes, maybe. I think Nora was helping out with that. Saw him skulking out the back somewhere. Anyway, I better monitor Alma. Sorry. That's all right, Billy Eilish. You want to speak to me, buddy? To be honest, that person that she said has died, I don't even remember who they are. <laughs> so it's not much of a loss to me. <laughs> You alright, Alexander? How you doing, mate? <coughs> Adir's gone, you know? I'm so sorry. I don't want to leave him there. 
I want him here with us. I know. We all do. I was gonna tell him about the lichen, but he wanted to go to his bunk. Tomorrow, let's have tea. That's what he said. And then he was gone. I'll miss him. Even if I never really liked his tea that much. <laughs> he just say you hadn't tried the right one yet. That was a jeer. Or is... Is, uh, is Hajir the one that gave me... Is Hajir the one that gave me the, um... The hacking device? Maybe that's him. Yeah. And also, as for the, uh... How, how is Alma actually... Actually in pain? I thought she was using... The Nutvi as an avatar. And she was still in a human form. So how can her, like, actual avatar be that, like... Be in pain? Can't she just switch back to a human form? Or has she done like what Jake Sully did, where she like literally fully transformed herself into a real nut V? But yeah, I don't think their physiology physiology would be that much different than a human, to be honest. Man, there is a lot of teachers laughing and giggling outside my window. That makes a change. Normally the teachers walk around depressed when I'm at work. Or maybe that's because I'm at work. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> they all hate Bee Wolf. There is someone else to talk to that's normally here, I think. Yeah, there's like somebody that's normally making a monument somewhere. Huh. I don't feel ready for all this. Yeah, normally he's here. Huh. Maybe he comes back later. Unless he died as well for some reason. You're right, mate. How you doing? Oh. Oh shit! Have we got a stash anywhere? How, how is my... Oh, man, I don't think there is a stash here at the moment because the place is not, like, fully set up. Oh, for God's sake. Well, if we see anything cool on our adventures, we won't be able to... Uh, we won't be able to loot it. At least you made... I heard you were back. I'm truly glad. Thanks. It was close. I just came to see how you are. Wish people would stop asking me that. Was there anything else? Kind of. Alma told Ritmela that the Kametiri can't be trusted. Do you know anything about them? That's not true. The Kametiri are reclusive. But they are expert healers, renowned among Natvi. Really? Do you think they would help us heal our injured? Perhaps. My father used to go to them for healing remedies. Then I should try and find them. Their capital, the Hollows, is hidden. But we used to meet an herbalist at the Kametire camp, not too far from here. Do you remember how to get there? There was a winding river in the shadow of floating mountains. Oh yes, I'd complain about this long walk. It was all the way to the bottom of the cliff. My father enticed me with stories of the Gentle One, a rare creature from these parts. I don't remember anymore. That should be enough. I'll radio you when I find it. Uh, I hate those things. But, okay. I hope they trust me enough to connect to Ewa and learn from the Kametire Ikran riders. I miss my bonded. There's actually an abandoned place near here. Solak took me there. Said I should try connecting to Ewa again. But, it made me feel weird. I don't want to taint Ewa with my human ways and my bad memories. Maybe in time it will feel right for you. Yes, maybe. Anyway, exit this way and follow the path round to the left. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't think you would taint yourself by connecting to uh, Ewa with your human ways and bad thoughts. 
No, that's like people that say they don't want to do counselling because they don't want to waste the counsellor's time. That's bollocks, nah. It might make you feel better, buddy. Come on, why don't you come with me? Thankfully, I think it's only around the corner, so we should be able to start riding our Ikran. If we couldn't ride our Ikran, and there wasn't conveniently a tree that links us to Awa around this corner, we would be absolutely screwed. Because the place that we need to go to, like the Hollow, to meet up with the Kamantiri, yeah, we would not be able to get there by foot. I don't think it's possible. Well, I mean, it would, actually, it might be possible, but I think they're like, probably like 10,000 miles away. I think before we meet up with the Kamantiri, oh, hang on. Oh, sweet. Better make sure we interact with that. A clouded forest face paint. Very nice. Probably should put that on, actually. Make us look like we uh, fit in. They might think we're one of the Kamantiri. <laughs> nah, everybody in this game knows who the uh, Sarantu clan are. We're very famous. Okay, let's go and link with Awa, and then we're going to meet up with uh, Fury, and then I think, what, not Fury, that's my off-camera Ikran, <laughs> Floof. <laughs> we'll meet up with Floof, and then I think what we're going to do whilst we're here is, uh, I think, yeah, we're going to grab, I think the, uh, yeah, I think this might be where the, uh, the commentary are, somewhere around here. We're going to grab both of these um, Sarantu flowers, or the Tarantu flowers, whatever they're called. We're going to grab both of these just to get the new skills. And also uh, for the skill points, so we can level ourselves up a little bit. And then we'll probably be level 14. And there should be a couple of pieces of random gear that we can find. The thing is, the commentary, uh, the gear that they have available is all shit. Like, it's all, it's all an upgrade, but they don't have no bonuses on them for some reason. So you don't really want to waste your clan favour buying their gear. It's better to craft stuff. There's no one here. I don't think anyone has been there for a long time. Do you think they are gone? The Kamitire? They can't be. Not them too. They must be out there. Somewhere. What could have happened to make them leave this place? I'd wait for them if I could, but... The others need help. I can't find it on foot. I need my Ikran. Okay, I also need to eat some food. Right, I see a crappy RDA for now. Eat an RDA. An RDA ration. <laughs> don't think we want to start eating the RDAs. I don't think they taste very good. Sweet. Right, where, where are you at, Floof? I didn't even press the button then. You did that on your own. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Catman? I know you're excited to see Floof, but don't, don't disobey me like that, you cheeky devil. How you doing, you Floof? Oh, what was it someone said in the comments? One of my regulars said in the comments that uh, you, need, you need to take a shot every time B-Wolf uh, strokes Floof. And I've not really been stroking Floof very much, so just so that you all get some more uh, shots in ya. Allow me to, uh... there you go. How you doing, Floof? You a good girl? Oh, did you miss me, eh? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Somebody blew up Resistance Headquarters, and then the cheeky fuckers threw me in you prison like that, for a huh? bit. And then for, some, and then for some reason, look at it closing this eye. And then for some reason, it took me about 4,000 years to uh, be able to call you here because for some reason you won't come to a new area unless I have sex with a tree. So yeah. Oh, there you go, Floof. You have a nice little sleep, buddy. All right. That's enough of that, Floof. Time to get to work. I like that. I never knew they'd close their eye like that when you stroked them. Right, let's put a marker on the uh, map. I think they're a bit of a pain in the ass to get to, these. Oh, this one, I think we need to... Uh, I don't know how to actually get to this one properly, but I found a way of falling through the wall. <laughs> so, through the ceiling. So, uh, we're either going to die or we're going to find a shortcut. Oh, hello, look. Got one of those um, RDA polluting signal things. I'm assuming you've got to take down all these things if you want to get the uh, the game's world to 100% no pollution. Because there's a trophy for it as well. So if you're trying to platinum it, you're probably going to have to take these all down. Holy flipping hell. This one's a bit... Uh, Don't go down, don't go down.
I like how the keys have a flipping time limit to them. That was a, that was needlessly difficult for what it is, you know. It's just one of these floating bloody signal things. It's not like I'm getting any fancy gear. Flipping hell. Quick! Floof! Quick! Jesus, Floof! Let's fly. God, he got me killed. Well, I don't think you actually die. You take a little bit of damage. There you go. Have some mere deer fatty meat. You're hungry, huh? He's very hungry. Make sure you pay attention to the uh, food that your Ikran likes. Because um, if you give them the right food, then they will, um, they'll get a little buff that keeps their energy completely full for like four minutes or something like that. Like off camera, my uh, Ikran really loves the cloud panther meat. Ah, here it is. I think there was a bunch of deers there then. Yeah, so if you come here, you'll find a bunch of these, uh, these like, vines. And there's a couple of gaps that you can, like, slot your way through. It's probably not the way you're supposed to get Dan, but it works. Die and I. Oh, here we go. This might work. Oh, come on. You could fit through there. You're a very slender cat person. Come on. What's all that racket? Oh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. We're through. Oh, no. Don't. Oh, come on. We were through. I feel I don't know where the door is. What's all that racket? What's the matter with you all? Flipping breathe. It's like when the birds are in your garden just fighting over nothing. Or when they see a cat nearby and they all go ape shit. And obviously me having three cats, I have to listen to that regularly. Because I've got an apple tree in the garden, so there's always birds in the apple tree. Oh shit. He <laughs> sounded like Ablen. There we go. Right, no idea if I'm going the right way. I'm guessing I need to follow the. Uh... Ah, there it is. But yeah, there is um, there is a, an actual cave entrance you can go through, but I'm not exactly sure where it is, so it's just quicker for me to uh, risk falling to my death. <laughs> I don't even know what this one does. Oh, it's not crashed, is it? Oh, flipping out! That was a bit of a delay then. That made me panic. <laughs> Free fast travel. Learn to conserve your strength with the Sauron 2 memory. Crafty and resourceful, you can travel great distances without expending energy. I did, to be honest, I didn't know I spent energy to fast travel anyway. <laughs> I didn't even know that. So that is, uh, that's the most pointless upgrade I've gotten so far. Actually, I should have enough skill points already. I want to try and get the one that allows me to have four... Uh, where is it? It's the one that allows me to, uh... Yeah, where is it? It's the one... Oh, there, oh, here it is. There you go. I can now hold four, um... Four, uh, berries. Very nice. I thought it said I was level 14 then, and it just changed its mind. Oh, here we go. This is probably... Well, this is the exit. I've got no idea where the entrance is. 
Right, we'll grab the other one now. I think that one's a lot easier to get to. And then we'll go and see if we can meet up with this. Uh... Oh, look at this. Would have been a beautiful sight if it weren't raining. All right, steady on, Floof. Speaking of dinosaurs and Floof, um, you got that new game coming out. I don't know if it's this year or not. I reckon it'll end up probably being a next year game, 2025. But you've got uh, that Jurassic Park survival coming out. That looks pretty decent. Jurassic Park is very underused for uh, as a video game IP. Just dinosaurs in general are underused. That was one of the main reasons why I was so excited for Horizon Forbidden West and Horizon Zero Dawn. Just because it was like, well, at least we get sort of a dinosaur game. But this one, this uh, Jurassic Park survival, is a, it's a survival, I guess it's supposed to be sort of horror-y. And I don't know if you're going to get weapons or not, but it's first person and it's a lot of like running away from dinosaurs. So it's probably going to be like some sort of like somewhat spooky game. Intense, you know, a thriller. But not like Silent Hill kind of scary. That's supposed to come out this year as well, Silent Hill 2. And Sony released a trailer recently saying that uh, it's due for this year. It was supposed to come out last year from what I remember, but never mind. <laughs> Don't know if I'll play that on the channel. Obviously, I'm a big old pussy with horror games. But with Silent Hill 2, that one's got a little bit of a special place in my heart. Because I watched my mum play the entirety of that game. So... I know the game enough. I know the ending, that's all I remember, which kind of spoils it. <laughs> and I know the whole story was just really weird and dodgy, you know? So many different symbol, so many different things symbolize different things in that game. So you had to have like a flipping uh, an A level in like 10,000 different subjects just to understand that flipping story. <laughs> What's that? Equipment basket. Oh, that's got to be a bell sprig. I can see that already. Sorry, Floof. Where is it? There it is. I'm guessing that is probably an Ikran. An Ikran basket, maybe. It must be. They don't normally show gear on the... Um, on the nutty vision when it's just for Catman, they only show it when it's for the Ikran for some weird reason. Yep, yeah, <laughs> see? We, we still need to find some headgear for, uh, for Floof. We ain't found any yet. Come on, headgear. Give me headgear. Fucking streamers. I don't like streamers to begin with. Actually, I tell a lie. One streamer I do like, who used to be a YouTuber, is Sips. From the Yogg's cast. Legendary streamer. Go and watch him. If you like the kind of commentary that I do, you'll like Sips. Because I'd say our commentary is somewhat similar. We both talk talk too much and talk about random stuff. <laughs> but he gets sidetracked a lot more than me. But yeah, you definitely like his videos. And if you want to see his uh, just a normal YouTube playthrough from him, go watch his, uh, his um, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim playthrough on YouTube. Or his house flipper, because he's the one that showed me house flipper. And that's what made me buy it. And you guys and girls enjoyed that playthrough, so you can thank Sips for that. When you interact with a Tarsu sapling, the location of another Tarsu sapling is... Oh, that's good. And you get one skill point when you find these. Sweet. Very nice. Let's get rid of the marker, because we know otherwise I'll start following the bloody marker like an idiot. When I need to now go and find the Kama... Oh, I already forgot the name. The Kamantia. Kamantiri. Kamantiri. I'm going to butcher that word so much. I'm going to keep forgetting that. Oh, bloody hell. Floof is in sore mode. Jesus. This game is actually pretty massive when you think about it. If you was to run from one end of this map to the other on foot, if you could do that without mountains and other things and ravines and shit getting in the way, uh, I, I think it would take a long time. Because when you look at the map, it looks pretty small, but it's actually very, very big. I tell you, man, video game worlds are getting too big now. <laughs> Like, it makes sense if it's like an online multiplayer game or something like World of Warcraft because you want a huge world in games like that. But when it's just single player, I sometimes I think, eh, it doesn't really need to be this big. Especially when there's not much going on. 
Like something like Horizon had to be big, just because you've got a lot of big creatures moving around. So I also thinking about it, Shadow of the Colossus had a big world as well, didn't it? Compared to like what actually goes on in that game, because you've got a couple of fruit trees and some humongous creatures to fight. But other than that, not much goes on in that world. There's not much need for it to be that big. <laughs> Be like having a 30 inch schlong. It's just no bloody point, is there? I mean, yeah, you've got a 30 inch schlong, but you're not going to be using it. You'd kill every woman you were with. <laughs> you'd, you'd empower the poor girl. So, you know, it's just pointless. That's what this world feels like an oversized schlong. Oh, man. It's a good job my channel isn't massive. YouTube would ban me. Is this the right place? No. Did you find it? Yeah. It looks abandoned at first glance, but there's a fire still lit. Strange. Someone must be still using it then. Take a closer look. It's the best we have at this point. Must be the place. Why do those eggs look like they're covered in cobwebs? Oh, we're trying to learn the commentary's location. Okay. So this is just a place that Nor came with his father, I think he said when we were speaking to him. Could be wrong about Something's that. Out there in the fog. <clears throat> Unusual ingredients. Delicate herb, maybe it's linked to Sorry, I interrupted you a bit then, mate. Oh hello. Oh, equipment. Oh, sweet. I would be a waste one, wouldn't it? A Comet Tire was here. A healer, making something by the fire. They left recently. How do you know they're a healer? Maybe they were just making some dinner. Herbalism and being a chef is pretty similar. <laughs> what is that? Is that a plow? Looks like it makes a noise. Warning or a signal? Looks like a plow to me. Maybe it's linked to... <laughs> Fuck those, there's nothing else around here. Oh, I thought that blue symbol meant there was something here. <laughs> it bamboozled me. There's nothing, there's nothing else to, uh, there's nothing else to interact with, is there? Or am I just being really, really blind? Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. I wonder if. Water stained. Looks like part of something else. Oh, okay. Those parts. <clears throat> they fit together. An animal scare. The weight of the water pivots the arm. It makes a noise as it drops. A Comet Tita healer was here not long ago. I could fix the animal scare. Maybe the noise will draw them back. They might help me. Sweet. Exactly as I predicted. Fascinating. Eccentric nutby. <laughs> oh no. Oh, don't bring it to me. What's that? Oh, it's a Thanathor thing, isn't it? Don't make me punch you. Fucking hell, that was close. Most impressive. Where's your bloody fault, Mr. Eccentric? Jesus. I don't even know why I was refusing to heal then. It's like I was thinking to myself, there's no way I should have taken that amount of damage. I don't deserve to heal. <laughs> Are you hurt? No. 
You fight like a Zeswal champion. Uh, well, at least that's what I think they fight like if I ever saw one. I hope I will. Have you? I have. Fascinating. But wait. Are you Saren too? Or has the Yava sickness taken me? I am. But what is Yava sickness? The Yava. A fog that burns your throat and clouds your mind until you die. I got lost while studying its effects. I followed the sound of the animal scare to escape. Yava. I think I saw some earlier. What causes it? Nobody knows. It came after the sudden two disappeared. Something gay was punishing the Kamatire. Doesn't seem right to me. So you are Kamatire? <clears throat> I need the help of your greatest healer. Awasahe Kanufi? Oh no. She doesn't see anyone. Would she see me? My friends are sick. Please, help. Perplexing. Mokasa forbids visitors. But they all saw them too. But is that good or bad? And they did save me, twice. I have decided. And I will help. But nobody must know. How do I find the capital? Hmm, let me see. With your bonded, soar over the lake and continue until you see the rock we call Ikron's head. Flat on top, with its nose pointed to the horizon. Thank you. What is your name, by the way? I am Oku. But remember, if anyone asks, I did not send you to the Hollows. <laughs> I'm gonna snitch, I'm telling everyone. Alright, oh cool. That's a pretty, a pretty memorable name, I think I can remember that. I like how they really do describe where you need to go, because if you don't turn on the, uh, well, because the, the, I turned on basically the option that makes it easier for you to find where to go, like that little blue glow that appears. I don't think that blue glow actually exists if you pick the other option. So you actually have to listen to the little uh, bit of information that they've given you. But I thought to myself, well, that would be a nightmare. Especially if I do end up having to do blind episodes, which I've had to do a couple of times because of just not playing games off camera very much. Then I'd be screwed if I couldn't find the place. So I thought, nope, it's not a good idea. We better turn that option on. There's two things in video games I ain't got patience for. Puzzles, well, certain kinds of puzzles, and uh, no map. That's why Outlast always pisses me off. The game, obviously, was a creepy bloody game, but for me, the thing that made me not want to play number two very much was the lack of map. I <laughs> don't know where the hell I'm going. Or compass. Oh, well, that was quick. So their, uh, their Saik, or the clan leader, doesn't take visitors. And somebody else forbids me from seeing her. And that's who we're going to speak to now, I guess. And she's the greatest healer, and we need to find a healer to heal up all of our, in all of our injured from that bloody uh, resistance attack on the... Uh, uh, the um, RDA attack on resistance headquarters. Great. Well, it looks bloody crowded here, doesn't it? Hey, no one better jump scare me. I started. They have the mark. I thought they were dead. What do they want? The Sarin to return. Why have they come? The Sarin to lives. That clan is long gone. So, who dares to darken our threshold with lies? I'm looking for your Tsahik. The Sky People attacked us, and we have many wounded. I was told the Kametire were healers. We need help. There is nothing for you here. Especially from our Tsahik. Do we not have an obligation? Our clan once helped those in need. That was before our Tsahik killed, instead of healed. The Sarantu no longer walk among us. Only liars. Why would they lie? The mark is clear. Enough! You desecrate the memory of our to friends. In any case, she is in seclusion, far from here, and not to be disturbed. Be on your way, imposter. 
We have no need of you here. I think he wants to throw hands. Son of a bitch, get up in my face like that. Also whispering in my ear seductively. Not everyone agrees with Mokasa's methods. Meet me at the Circle of Ancestors, where Ewa shows us the way. Oh, okay. There's always one person that just randomly wants to work with you, isn't there? It's so convenient. Oh, fuck, here, here everyone is. All right. Well, I'm going to have to end the video now, Waffle Vets. Thankfully, we found the commentary clan before I ended the video. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I would have felt like we got fuck all done in this video. But we actually got quite a few things done, actually. But anyway, thanks for watching, Waffle Vets. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Like, share. Don't know why I'm doing that. It's like I'm about to do some of that rocking. <laughs> like, share, and join the pack today.